If you've spent any time with kids, you know, keeping them engaged isn't always easy. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky introduces us to a Nashville teacher who's asking for help to bring an incentive to her school that could help her students learn to read. There's a bit of a buzz going around at Schwab Elementary School. We have three school rules, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe because we are the Schwabies. And um, we just catch them like all the teachers, any staff has B-Bucks and they can pass them out to any kid. The kindergarten through fifth grade students earn these B-Bucks for good behavior, helping a friend or just for being kind. We try to have them earn about five B-Bucks a day, hopefully more than that. Students can spend those bucks at the school store or to participate in fun activities. We're trying to find these incentives to keep the kids coming to school for attendance and doing well academically and the academics will go hand in hand with behavior. School art teacher Lindsay Mayfield came up with a new incentive she hopes will be available soon. A lot of our kids, they live in poverty. They come to school, they don't have coats, they don't have jackets, they are hungry. Um, so sometimes our meals are the only meals they are getting. Needless to say, buying books for their kids is not always possible. Reading is so important. If you can read, you can do anything. That's why this teacher is raising money to install this at her school. This uh, vending machine, they're like, I want to buy a book. And so, you know, 20 B bucks, we'll give them the coin and then they'll put it in the machine. They can pick a book. A book not for checkout, but instead to keep. A book can open up a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities for kids, especially at my school. They have a lot of troubles and worries at home that they're always worried about. And opening that book can really provide a, a lot of opportunities, even if it's small, that opportunity to open that book and experience a world that they couldn't necessarily have on their own. An opportunity she hopes the school can give students to be readers at home. In Nashville, Claire Kopsky, News Channel 5. And if you'd like to contribute to the book vending machine fund, there's a link on our website to send your donations and learn more about the teacher's mission as well. Just head to newschannel5.com.